Okay guys, so on today's video, I'm going to show you how we can map our PS4 controller to our Citra. So it will be just easy, and let's go ahead and start. Okay, so I have here my PS4 and my cell phone. So let's go ahead and map this PS4 controller to our phone. And the first thing that we will need to do is connect it of course by using Bluetooth. So let's open Bluetooth and we will see the wireless controller. Now we need to just press and hold the share and the PS button until we see this blink. Okay, after that we can just tap on this wireless controller and it should automatically connect. Alright, now let's go ahead and map, map it on the Citra. So just press on settings and then tap on gamepad there so let's start with the letter A or the A button so I'm going to use circle and for the B button I'm going to use X for the X let's use triangle and for the Y let's use square button now for the select, we'll use share and for the start, we will use options. Now for the circle pad, it will be the left analog, so just tilt the left analog up and left. For the next one, we'll use the right analog, so up, alright, not down, so let's use or let's tilt it to left now for the d-pad so just press up and then left on the d-pad and for the L just press L1 and R1 but if you'd like you can also just um, use L2 and R2 since we're using a PS4 controller alright now let's try it so we're going to open the game let's use or let's open bravely default so I usually play it on landscape so that I can get a bigger screen so okay all right and we still see the overlay button so let's go ahead and remove that one so that we will not or we'll be able to play better so just press an option and just untap or uncheck overlays and let's start let's see so the circle is working and all right so it's moving perfectly now okay triangles menu d-pad is working let's try the other buttons so and I think Thing. there's it's actually not doing anything <laughs> maybe it's the game so let's try going on a battle all right now let's try a backing and okay it's working and by the way um, we can definitely use the d-pad or the touchpad on the PS4 so if there are games that we will need to touch or you know the touch screen you can use it and but for this game it's actually not using the touchpad but that's basically it thank you guys for watching see you next time